All right, so we've got a building facade here and we want to continue our schematic design exploration uh, and create the appearance of a sloped site. This is perhaps prior to doing any topo solid work or modeling the site as a whole, but we want our early massing uh, to reflect uh, our early massing elevation to reflect the fact that it's stepping down a site. So let's go ahead and um, extend our building onto a basement level and then just draw an approximate profile line for the site masking off part of that basement level. Uh, so I am going to um, create a, a basement floor. So let's go to my first floor plan since it'll match this here. I'm going to create a wall I am going to place it on the basement level and I'm going to make the top constraint level one. Uh, now I can simply trace my floor plan. Doesn't like me because I'm tracing an existing wall. Let's see what we got here on the basement plan. Uh, that last one was ugly. Let's draw that last wall again. Um, and so here I have uh, a basement um, that is underneath the level on top. And we can check that by going back to my south elevation. And there is my basement. Yeah, I knew that that, that last wall was not my friend. Um, let's go ahead and align that wall uh, with this. Come on. There we go. All right, so um, I have a uh, I have a basement now sitting under my upper level, um, and it's time to go ahead and draw my uh, the slope of my site on top of it. Let's zoom out a little bit, um, and let's go ahead and go to um, annotate, and we are going to do a detail region. Uh, what that does is it'll let us just sketch what a sloped site might look like. In this case, let's start up here, go down a hill. Let's get flat by the doorways here, and then we can start sloping down again and go down to the waterfall or whatever dramatic feature our site happens to possess down here at the bottom. I'm going to close my form because this is a region, so it does need to be closed. Um, don't worry about perfectly lining up. Uh, just kind of create an approximate outline of what you want your elevation to show. Uh, and now I will go ahead and um, edit some of these lines because I want the, the profile line of the ground to be dark and I want these other region lines to be um, not just thin but invisible. So I'm going to go ahead and use my modify tool to select these perimeter lines. I'm going to turn these lines invisible and then I'm going to use my selection tool, select my, my ground line, and I'm going to turn that wide. Uh, depending on your defaults in Revit, you may even have numerical uh, um, line widths here preloaded. Just make it one of your fattest lines for this, uh, for this ground line. It's an import, it's important part of your elevation to, to anchor your drawing with that um, nice clear ground line. So once I do that, I hit check, and what you'll see here is I have a, uh, a detail region that is hatched, not very attractively, but has, if I zoom in here, you can see a darker line at the ground line. Uh, you can change that hatch simply by going to your properties browser, changing it to one of these other options. Uh, if you don't see white, just change it to solid black, edit your type, and change your... Um, change your fills to white. Um, and there it is. So now at a glance, your, um, ooh, that was fun. Uh, now at a glance, your, your building sits on a sloped site. That's all there is to it.